Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to install mods in Palworld. Although there aren't many mods available yet, you can already play as Misty, disable the HUD, unlock the full map, and more. First, search for UE4SS3 on Google. This is an Unreal Engine scripting system that we'll need. The link is also in the description. Download version 2.5.2 X input file, and then extract the downloaded file. Now, go to your Steam library and find Palworld. Right-click on it, go into Properties, and click Browse. This will open the game directory. Place our downloaded files next to it. Now, navigate to Pal, Binaries, Win64. Before moving the files, we need to make one modification. Open the settings.ini file, press Ctrl and F, and search for this. Change the value from True to False and Save. If you don't want to bother with this step, I've already done it for you, and you can download the modified file instead. This step is necessary to prevent the game from crashing with certain mods. Now, we can copy or move the files to the games folder. Some mods will be installed here, but some require a different method. Go back and, instead of the binaries folder, go into the content folder. Go into packs and create a mods folder. Let's close this for now and download some mods. Search for PAL World Mods on Google. Open the CurseForge Mods website and the Nexus Mods website. You can explore both. I will download the Misty mod here. On Nexus Mods, I will select a couple of cool mods. Be aware of some mods which might need extra tools to be installed and always read the descriptions. To start downloading, click on files and download the mods one by one. You will need to log in or create an account. Once you have all the mods downloaded, I recommend launching the game once and loading into your save file without mods, so the scripting system can configure properly, and you are sure that it is not crashing your game. Now let's install the mods. I will remove the previously used files for better visibility. Extract all your mods to their separate folders. Now, like before, open the game directory. Let me position everything nicely. So, let's begin. If the mod you are trying to install has a .pack file in it, it needs to be placed in the second mods folder we created in the content folder. You can copy or move it there. For example, this one is done the same way. But other mods, such as this one, need to be installed in the scripting system part of our game files. These files have a structure like this, where it has a scripts folder, and it's also mentioned in the mods description if it needs to be installed this way. So now, let's go back and go into the binaries folder instead. In here, open this mods folder. It will have some stuff already in it. You can leave other files alone. Now just move the mods folder into here. The same applies to these next two mods. And this one is done the previous way. Now we have one final step to do. In the binaries folder, where our mods folder is, find the mods.txt file. You will need to add in the names of newly added mods in the same structure as others are done. So just copy the names of the mods folders exactly like this, and next to them put a colon, 
and a 1 to enable the mod. Make sure to save the file once you are done. As you can see, we have the Misty mod, our carrying capacity is higher. We have a fully unlocked map, the Chikipi's model is replaced by a picture of a cat spilling milk, and we can toggle the HUD on or off with the F9 key. Removing mods can be quite a hassle. Here is a bulletproof approach if you want to remove all mods. Open the game's directory, go into PAL, Libraries, and delete the entire Win64 folder's contents. Also, go to the Contents folder, and into Packs, and delete the Mods folder. Now in your Steam library, go into your game's properties and verify the integrity of the game's files. This will download the missing files and make the game playable again. And that's all for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.